Hey, Dad. Hey, Gaz. I remember when I was little going to Nam and getting to meet Bigs, Bugs Bunny. And Bugs Bunny, who's on your tie, was yeah. probably the biggest celebrity I'd met when I was little like that. I know that you've gone to Nam shows for years and years. Who all have you met? Well, of course, that Bugs Bunny, that was when Warner Brothers owned um, a music company, a publishing company, which became Alfred's bought of Warner Brothers. Uh, but I've met some celebrities over the time, right? I think one of the saddest ones I saw was uh, when, I can't remember which show it was, but there was Mr. Moog of Moog Synthesizer Design was in the aisle and the fellow had a handwritten sign, right, saying, come and meet Mr. Moog, and nobody even knew who he was, right? The error synthesizer had already gone by. And now, if that had been the case in the, with the revival of Synths, Mr. Moog would be looking with a lineup like Marshall used to be, right? Just for his autograph. Absolutely, you know, he would. Like Oberheimer got his, his, all his patents back, eh? This last year. Yeah, he did. Um, I remember you telling me a story about being in the Randall booth and having a shadow. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> that's, that's a funny story that uh, I was in there. I was actually dealing with U.S. Music Corp directly out of the States. Steve Baldwin up here in Canada took care of all Canada. And um, was, this was before um, Jambot Randall. And so I, Steve gives me a price list. So it's an international buyer's price list that I was buying off of at the time. And, and so I've got this price list and I say, well, you know, a U.S. dealer isn't going to buy at these prices because right, it's a basically a, a semi-distributor's price list, right? So I'm walking through the thing, taking a look at models of, because the Washburn guitars were on it and the Randall amplifiers were on it. And, and this fellow right, kept sort of hedging me, right? I was in one little area and then the next thing I know, it's like he was shadowing me and shadowing me. And it turns out and, uh, that he was using me as a decoy. He didn't want to be disturbed by people. Uh, it's, um, one of these amp names was after him. Kurt Hammett. Oh, well, that's it, Kurt Hammett. That, that was the guy, right? He was, he was doing his thing. It was actually kind of fun. And then I know Rob and James tell a great story about you flying to a trade show and sitting next to someone on the airplane and having no idea who it was until you got home. Remember that story? No, you maybe have to prompt me with that one. It was a hockey player. A hockey player. And you got his autograph for James. Oh, that could be. Oh, that. Um... I think it was a hockey player. Oh, you Might know have what? been a baseball player. No, it was. That wasn't actually. Uh, that was. Uh, Techniques meeting, right? And we went over there with Bill Brooks here in, um, uh, you'd have to be a Vancouver Canucks fan, right? Bill Brooks over here in Richmond, he had, um, had bought Noteworthy Music, which is a store that we had started as well. And he was a Canucks fan, and they were doing their seventh game in 94, so when everybody remembers as being a Canuck, right? Back yeah. in the day, and uh, uh, Pat Quinn right, was the coach, and so on, and came into the uh, same hotel that we were staying at after we'd seen the game, right? And yeah, I got his autograph on the front cover and uh, Trevor Linden and uh, some Robinson guy, a press guy. There, anyway, there were several that I gave to James. I think he still got those. Things. He does. Probably They're in his, in his basement. Yeah, in his sports bar. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then... Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that's got to do much with music. But <laughs> well, it was at a fun. trade show yeah. thing, well, and yeah, it, was it was a famous a, people. Yeah, it was. So we, we were actually playing know. hooky right from the meet and greet. <laughs> you won't tell them that part. Um, and then... I think one of the funniest ones was um, uh, when I was at a Kramer thing. This goes way back in time, and Eddie Van Halen was an uh, endorser for Kramer and his wife, Valerie Bertinelli. We're, we're traveling, and they used to travel together quite a bit, and uh, they were at the trade show, and uh, I was basically introduced, or we were semi-semi talking about doing some uh, distributing in Canada of Kramer product at the time, and, and uh, we <laughs> got introduced, right, and I didn't know who he was particularly, another artist, right, until I got home, told that one to James, he thought that I should have perhaps got that autograph, but I didn't, <laughs> you know. yeah. yeah, no, there's, there's been several, right, uh, over the years, but I, mostly I, I remember the people that that are in in the industry itself, right? You know, more you're like a, I'm more likely to recognize Marty of Jam Industries, right, than, than I am to recognize a celebrity. You know, and, and Marty would walk by anybody, you know, nobody would know who he is, but he owns the entire company, so <laughs> you know, I'm more, more on that end of it. You know, it's like the picture of you with the. Um, a president of uh, Yamaha Canada, right? You're yes. more likely to recognize him. You know. 
All right. Well, uh, those are my celebrities anyway. Yes, mine too. I will let you get back to your whatever you're doing with that guitar. All right. Talk to you later, Tom.